tell me I can. But um, I don't know if physically I can do that. And so understanding my limitations, how it pertains to what we're trying to do, um, is, is all part of this process. But all I want to do is win. That's all I came back for, is to win. There's nothing like it. And for guys who have played this game, played sports in general, um, you, former players, guys in the latter part of their career, they'll tell you it's tough. You love, I mean, there's there's no substitute for playing on Sundays. It's just you can't you can't find that. And so that's what I'm here for. And I don't know what's gonna what I'm gonna be asked to do, but I know one thing in particular, and that's be a leader and um, do things a certain way. And and I know I can do that. Right, you said earlier that the revenge revenge was not a part of it in coming back against Green Bay. Why do you think that perception continues to exist? Well, you guys obviously would be better suited to answer that. Um, I think the circumstances of how it all went down, as I've said before, I think both sides were wrong to a certain degree. But I have no, no ill feelings towards that. That stage of my career I wish maybe could have been done differently both sides but I got a lot of friends on that team I had you know a lot of those guys we've had a lot of great games together um, and once again you can't take that away um, I don't think I have to prove anything to anyone I really don't in fact I know I don't because what I've done it's it's down in the, in the books and um you know, could easily play those guys, could beat them twice and and lose the division. They could win it. You could split with them. I mean, if you're coming back for those two games, it would be a long year. Um, and if if it was about revenge, you know, I would have signed on a dotted line the first day and said, we'll worry about the arm, we'll worry about everything else later. But it wasn't about that. And, I, you know, people can believe what they want to believe. That's fine. I, you know, I can't change that. Um, I'm in it for the right reason. And if people can't understand that, I'm sorry. What has to happen this season for you to qualify your decision is a good one? Your expectations? My expectations um, are high. I mean, this team is a good football team. And I didn't come in here to, I'm not going to sit here and make predictions, but I didn't come in here to lose. I don't think any guy in that locker room is here to lose. Um, I think we can be as good as we want to be. I mean, I, I, from the outside looking in or from the inside looking in, that's no secret. This team is a good football team. They really are. And um, I think sky's the limit. We all know how hard it is. It's even hard for the teams that won the Super Bowl last year. It's hard to repeat. It's hard to stay good on a consistent basis. And... Um, it's a small window, so uh, you know. I, I, once again, I think this team can can be as good as we want to be. Even though, even though you've missed all of training camp, Brett, how much easier do you think this transition for you will be than what you undertook last year going to the Jets? Much easier from a from a system standpoint. Still have to learn the guys and stuff. It was so much easier today just to call the plays I was familiar with, um, and I. Those guys in New York last year were great, kind of conforming the offense a little bit to where it was functional for me. But it was difficult. I, I really didn't think it would be as hard as it would be. Um, whereas here, you know, there, there's little subtle changes in offense that, that may take a little, but the, for the most part, the formations, the protections, the routes and stuff are the same. And today it was, I didn't miss a beat calling those plays. And I didn't run many plays, but um, it came out pretty easy. The past two three for weeks, Brett. The past three weeks from the first time when you said no till today, did you keep working out? Did it keep working in the back of your mind that you may get a phone call like you got? I, you know what? I had no idea, and I didn't work out like I had been. I really, honestly, I really thought it was over, um, which was my fault. But um, I still went up to, to the school and worked with the kids a little bit. But it was more, I started, I noticed the last three weeks I was getting called coach more. 
instead of Mr. Brett or Brett. I, I, yesterday I went up there and I had just talked to Chili, got out of the truck, went out there, and the guy said, hey, Mr. Mr. Brett or Coach, most of them, Coach Brett, um, you know, you come to our game Friday night? I said, well, I don't, I don't know. And they said, what? I said, I may not be out of town. A couple of the kids went, yes. <laughs> I said, I didn't say anything. Chili, we, we wanted to kind of keep it. But um, I felt their excitement. And, you know, along with that comes high expectations. And um, I'm well aware of it. Saw that as soon as I got off the plane today. The first time that uh, you've been to the Twin Cities since this courtship began, put up, there have been lots of rumors that you were securing property they, and condos all over town. There have. <laughs> I hate to think there's other people that look like me. That's, I feel sorry for them. But this is the first time. It's the first time. What did you have to do to get the number? I don't know what, what Brian did, but oh, JD's a Southern boy too, and I don't, you know, must have talked him into it somehow. I was hoping I wouldn't have to come off with too much money. We'll bring Brad up, we'll bring Brad up now to answer a few questions. Thank you all. Okay, questions?